Would you guys today ever take a look at the Ustar GT68 Mini PC? This Mini PC is more powerful than your old desktop PC that you've been using for years. So we're going to take a look at it. This Ustar does have the grey model in colour. Ryzen 7 Pro 6850H, 32 gigabytes of RAM and one terabyte of storage. This is what you can expect to get inside the kit. You're going to get yourself a HDMI cable here in a UK plug here because we're in the UK, but you'd get one for your country, depending where you live in the world. And we also have the power adapter right here. Very slim line power adapter, which is nice to see. Barrel jack on the end. And let's take a look at the readouts here. That's 19 volts, 6.32 amps, 120 watts. The brand is DVE. I know nothing about what brand this is. But again, someone in the comments might know whether it's a good brand or not. But that is the actual power adapter there. Very small and slim line. You're going to get your manual here, user manual, color pictures, and also English text if you're in the UK. Some Chinese text here as well uh, for some pictures. But there's some little uh, QR codes on the back which you can click on to get the full manual and stuff like that if you need to download it from their site. All nicely laid out here to explain exactly what you're getting inside your mini PC. This is the actual mini PC from Ustar here. Metal casting chassis on this one. It's an eSports Art Dark Knight Warrior design. I do actually like the compact size and the design of this mini PC. It's got good ventilation on here on the front of the actual mini PC. We've got our power button. We also have our headphone and audio jack input there, which is 3.5 millimeter audio jack. You've got a couple of uh, USB free ports on here. Your Oculink, which is going to be ideal for plugging in uh, your external graphics card if you want to play games externally on this particular mini PC. This will allow you to play AAA listed games at very high frame rates. A very good feature to have the Oculink port on one of these mini PCs. And at this price, it's a pretty good deal. Also looking at the USB 4 port on the front there as well, which is another nice port to have. Really good ventilation on the side, as you can see here. I do like the design of this mini PC. It's very compact. It's going to allow great airflow through this mini PC because of this ventilation is quite wide here. So it's going to allow a lot of air to flow through and flow out of the actual mini PC itself. On the rear of the mini PC, we've got two 2.5 gigabit Ethernet LAN ports on there, which is also a nice feature to have. We've got that expansion area up the top here to allow air to come out of the graphics card and CPU. Input there for your power, HDMI port and also DP port on there as well. And we have another two uh, USB type A ports, one USB 3 and also 2.0 port on there as well. So you can have up to triple monitor display here, 8K uh, resolution for this particular mini PC. So if you've got three monitors, this mini PC should be able to handle that no problem whatsoever so the whole pc is made of metal apart from the two sides there which is made of plastic uh, and it's also going to allow the wi-fi because that's where the wi-fi uh, antennas are on the side to allow a good signal and you do get a very good signal strength for wi-fi on here and we'll talk more about that a little bit later on good ventilation on the bottom here uh, anti-slip rubber feet which gives it some elevation to allow air to flow in of the unit as well and you can see there's the specs there. Let me just remove these four screws so we can gain access to the inside of this and take a look. Now, this does have surface mounted uh, memory on it. It's got 32 gigabytes of memory, which is pretty good memory uh, on here, but it is surface mounted. It's not modules. Uh, having a look, we can remove the bottom chassis case here and you can see easy clean. You can easy clean the fluff and dust out of here as well. On the side, you'll be able to see there is those antennas on the plastic part there with the cables on it. We have this huge fan here, which is going to help keep the unit nice and cool. It is a very good fan on here. And to remove this completely from its interior, you're going to have to remove the four uh, little tiny standoffs here. I could just quickly show you down the side here. You can see the uh, M.2 slots here. We have three of them on here for three M.2 uh, drives here so you can populate three drives inside this little mini pc just going to remove these little standoffs here it's just a little lever there you have to pull out the button to make it release from the bottom and you should be able to get this free from the from the actual chassis itself 
And there we have the actual internals right here. It has a Bywin uh, one terabyte drive inside, but there is population for two more drives right here. One there where my thumb is and one just above the Wi-Fi card. You can put that right there. So this does have the Ice Glacier cooling 3.0 version which is great for cooling a mini pc we also have a decent cpu on here ryzen 7 pro 6850 h 4.7 uh, gigahertz max boost clock that is and it does support uh, rdna2 and it does have eight core 16 threads on the zen 3 plus architecture also we do have 2200 megahertz uh, gpu graphics supported on here the lp ddr5 6400 megahertz ram speed it's equipped with 32 gigabytes of memory in this module. Also, the M.2s are 2280. We have two of those on there, and they are PCI Express 4.0 uh, times 4. Does support Wi-Fi 6. We have that USB 4 port and that Oculink port on here as well. Three screens at 4K, uh, 8K 120 hertz, HDMI 2.0, and DP uh, port is 2.1 as well. So all in all, pretty good specs for a MIDI PC. And again you're getting really good value for your money because having that Oculink on there is going to allow you to put an external GPU on here if you are an hardcore gamer and you want to play those AAA listed games at really high frame rates. It's going to allow you to do that. Another good positive is it does have Windows 11 on here and it does allow you to bypass the Microsoft account. The Geekbench 6 scores were for the CPU on the single core was 1,956 and for the multi-core score we got 8,906 points for that as well on Geekbench 6. Now if you're wondering about the temperatures when I run the benchmark right here uh, they've done pretty well as well. We didn't have any thermal throttling whatsoever and it stayed pretty stable. Uh, also 28,248 points for the uh, GPU score on Geekbench 6 as well. The reads for this drive was 7032 and the writes was 6327 and you can see that by win one terabyte drive in here you can upgrade these to whatever drives you like you just need to take it apart and replace the drives and the uh, 3d game mark score on time spy was 2455 you can see the graphic score there was 2185 and the cpu score was 8247 you can see the graph there how it fared during the uh, benchmark of time spy uh, pretty reasonable for a mini pc so it can handle gaming with the built-in gpu as well you can play some games at 1080p and some games at 720p if you wanted to uh, if that's your thing i did a, a built-in gpu score on the night raid score here was 24,563 the graphic score was 28,606 and we had the cpu score at 13,640 that is the night raid score for the igpu score for the uh, mini pc you can see the graph there the way it fared during the testing uh, 4k streaming is perfectly fine you get a few drop frames at the beginning and then it settles down so it's pretty stable no jerky or stuttery uh, playback here this is true 4k streaming so if you've got a, a mini pc that you need for 4k streaming it should handle this no problem at all 4k video editing again it will probably handle that no problems whatsoever due to that powerful processor with eight cores and 16 threads uh, Ryzen 7 Pro processor is plenty powerful for 4K video editing with 32 gigs of RAM. Let's play the Jellyfish 400 Mbps, also a 4K Ultra HD HEVC 10 bit file. This is a pretty hefty file to play. You can see it's silky smooth, and I'll quickly drag and pull this across and see how quick it starts up. No problem at all for this particular file and it is really smooth no stuttering whatsoever so great playback uh, ability for this mini pc as you would expect with that sort of processing power let's take a look here at the stats i've got the idle temps 44 celsius there as you can see sitting at idle and remember we have been benchmarking as well we've got going through here the motherboard i've never heard of that motherboard brand before but you can see it on the screen right there and you can see the model is the gt68 Gives you some information about the memory as well. Again, like I said, surface mounted memory on here, no modules to replace. So make sure you buy one with the type of memory that you need for your PC because you won't be able to upgrade it. Next up, we've got the graphics right here. As we talked about, uh, AMD graphics on this one, uh, 2200 megahertz. Again, you can add 
the memory. The memory size for this is only 512. If you want to change that, you can change that in the BIOS. We're leaving it as it is right now. Let's do a quick stress test on the GPU right here. And we'll just run that test and we'll see how it fares with the temperatures. As you can see, the temperatures are perfectly fine for this little mini PC. And that's exactly what you want uh, with a mini PC because they are small and compact. And the last thing you want is any sort of uh, throttling or overheating and things like that. You don't want that happening with your mini PC. Gaming wise, again, like I said, these are pretty easy to play games. But I just want to show you that you can play pretty modest games on here. You don't have to play AAA listed games on here. But if you want to, you can do. But remember, it is built in graphics. And some of these games are going to have to be turned down to 720p and even, uh, you know, 1080p for some games like Counter-Strike will probably be doable at 1080p at pretty reasonable frames per second. Valorant should be no problem at 1080p for this particular mini PC with the built-in GPU as well. But again, you're not going to buy a mini PC to replace a desktop dedicated GPU uh, PC with this particular setup unless you're looking to use that Oculink to use an external graphics card on it to get the maximum uh, out of this mini PC. And if you're starting to go down that route, then you're sort of looking at a desktop PC anyway. So if you're looking for something small, compact, that has built-in GPU that's capable of doing all of your needs like video editing, playing games, streaming movies, uh, using it as, as some sort of Plex server, you could do, although transcoding does work better on Intel-based uh, CPUs. This is a Ryzen CPU, but you can still use it to... Uh, as a Plex server and other things like that. Another question I get is, is this mini PC capable of replacing my old aging Windows 10 system? And the answer to that is yes, your CPU is pretty old nowadays compared to something like this, which is modern. And it is gonna allow you to use Windows 11 on your system. If you want to wipe that and put a, a Linux on here, you can do as well. And you've got other options available to you if you wanna go down that route. It's not a lot of money for all of the power that you're getting. You're getting super fast memory speeds here, LPDDR5 on here, and also you're getting 32 gigabytes of memory on this particular mini PC, which is plenty for most people. And again, the only thing you don't have on here is a dedicated GPU. But again, with that Oculink, you can get an external GPU if you wanted to plug it in, if that's really essential to you you could do and it does have a very small footprint on your desk because it's tiny it's going to use less power and really it's a good option for a lot of people because they're not having to spend vast amounts of money on replacing their pc when something like this will do perfectly fine for you now of course if you're an hardcore gamer that just plays hours and hours of games every single day and you need a dedicated GPU, then obviously you would be looking at a desktop PC anyway, and you wouldn't be looking for something as small as a mini PC. But for people that are downsizing, that just do a bit of YouTube, bit of emails, surf the web and play the odd little game, uh, this will be perfectly fine. So how much does it all cost? Well, as you can see on the screen, $389 for this particular one I have in my hands right here. This was sent out by Ustar for review. No money has changed hands. All opinions are my own and no one is reviewing this video before it's released, just so you know. But also as well, you've got plenty of drive storage in here as well. If you need to put more drives in, you can just add up to three drives inside here. Three M.2 slots at PCI Express 4.0 times four. That's pretty decent for a mini PC. Anyway, I'll leave all the information in the video description if you're interested. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll catch you on the Discord server. The link is in the video description. Bye for now.